Hello folks, Jacob here. Today we're going to be talking about the Merchantman. The idea behind this video spurred off of a Reddit thread that I'd found uh, regarding the Merchantman and the fact that it's such an old ship, should have been completed ages ago, etc uh, etc. Et now of course I bring you footage of the Banu Defender due to the fact that of course that is, this is the only ship we have from the Banu. Now there's there's so many cool things about the Banu ships. Like you have the the quantum effect with the whole green sort of dots that are everywhere. You've got the sounds within the cockpit. You've got the chair animation when you get in and out. You've got the whole doors going inside one another. You've got this very sort of sleek curved sort of interior to the Defender and it looks incredible. It looks organic and it's great. Now the developers had a lot of issues with the Defender in its production and it's more than evident that this has rubbed off into the merchantman now honestly it's not going to do it's it's not going to do cig any good just putting off and putting off the ship you could argue however that if we were to get the merchantman we wouldn't get things like the star runner the starlifter maybe even the talon or the rock and the reason for that is because the Karak team were meant to go to the Merchantman after they finished the Carrick, but that didn't happen. And so apparently that team split into two. Uh, one to work, I believe, was officially announced to, to work on the Star Runner, and at the time they said a yet-to-be-announced ship, so that could likely have been the Talon, or maybe even the Rock. One of the two. The Starlifter was already announced, so I don't think it was that one. It may well be in time that perhaps the team that work on the Starlifter, then move on to the Merchantman, maybe? Um, although that wasn't the same team that did the Carrick. This is just all speculation. I could be completely wrong. I probably am, but still. Now, the people that have the Merchantman as an OC are people like me that also have the Merchantman on a 10-year... Well, I did. I, I kind of melted it because I realised it wasn't going to be made soon. But that's not the point. We'll just say I've got it. Now, I think a way perhaps to solve loosen the tension for, for merchantman owners at this point would be perhaps an additional loaner. Now, it could be anything. It could be, or maybe maybe not an additional loaner, but maybe a different loaner. Like, so when the C2 is finished in December, switch out the C2 from the cat. That could be a good way to alleviate some pressure from merchantman owners, potentially get that additional cargo bump you can then use vehicles so it's all well and good and it instantly applies the ship in game more so than the people that already have it which is which is fine maybe having it as additional loaner whoever who cares another way you could possibly do this would be perhaps to have another banu ship perhaps maybe i don't know it would have to fit in law of course so maybe you could have like a much smaller banu merchantman to some to some sort of extent i don't know um uh, call it whatever you want not my job to do that. Perhaps uh, put into production, have it very similar to that of the Talon in, in regards to having it like 50th percent or so complete, fully concepted and all that good stuff. Have that as, a, as an additional loaner to the Merchantman. That might alleviate some pressure, or it might just piss people off a bit more. I haven't really decided what I think on that. The truth is, this is the oldest ship in the game. Well, it's not in the game, but this is the oldest concepted ship other than the Idris M which isn't fit for use at the moment in the current PU and of course is used for Squadron Fight 2 that of course will it's it's, it's, its own separate thing the other um older concepts of the whole sea that's not going to work until docking is available and that's going to come into play perhaps when the cargo docks uh, decks are released which of course that's going to be maybe uh, 311 uh, assuming it doesn't get pushed back so potentially we'll see the whole sea then, or even at the end of the year, with the refinery decks as well. Now, the other ship, which is of a similar age to the Merchantman and the whole sea, is the Orion. Now, the uh, Orion is an RSI ship that is 304, uh, 370 or so meters long, which is almost javelin kind of size. Not so ideal at this point in time to have the Orion. So that leaves the Merchantman. It should be one of the next ships to come into the game. It's going to be seven years old from its announcement date. Not next month, but the month after in October. 
And honestly, this issue of putting the merchantman off does not get better with time. Now, of course, the eagle-eyed of you will notice that this video is uploaded at a very different time. Uh, for some of you, it is in fact going to be a day missed in my upload schedule. Uh, although I upload at 2am local time, I'm uploading this at possibly around 9 or 10pm my time, so technically it's still the same day. So, technically I meant to leave it here than that. Anyone in the US time zone is going to realise that this is the day after, but whatever. That's all well and good. So, the intention is going to be to, to work on a video the night before, the following day to work on the thumbnail, the tags, and all that good stuff that goes with final preparations, and then for it to go live there. And of course, the same time that I'm kind of doing that, I'm working on the next video for the next day. So it fits into my schedule rather than doing everything in like a four or five hour period. So hopefully that'll do better for me. I have to thank the absurd amount of subscribers that have been subscribing recently. It's it's mad. I've since the 12 days or so, which I pretty much started the channel up again, I've had I've averaged a subscriber a day thus far, which is immense. And that rate is only going to go up. There was four subscribers just yesterday alone, which is incredible. So thank you so much. Today's video sponsor is the like button for the glorious YouTube algorithm. That will, of course, allow this channel to grow with your support. Obviously, don't forget to comment or subscribe. If you aren't already aware, I generally upload daily. So be sure to check back. My name is Jacob. Thank you and goodbye for now.